Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jada Chanette. So today I'm bringing you an update video so I can tell you guys where I've been. I know I haven't been um, posting on my page as much. I've been kind of ducked off, but um, life has been lifing. I have some updates for y'all. So as you can see, I have some new hair and I'm normally a baldy girl. Um, since last year, I cut my hair really, really short. So I got this hair from the corner store. I was going to get a wig put on my head because I needed some, like a, just a change of look real quick. Um, story time, I guess we just want to hop into it. Me and the boy that I was dating in Philadelphia slash New Jersey, me and him ended up closing things off um so i am back to being single and you know when you're single you just need like a change of look a change of scenery whatever the case may be um things just didn't work out with us i think we didn't really have the communication skills and the willpower to fix our problems between us even though he was a really good guy you know i just chucked it up as you know, maybe God has something else for me that is more aligned with what I want um, my future to be like and what I want for me and my son. And that's okay, but it, it has been really hard on me dealing with because it, it was kind of something that was like sudden. It wasn't expected. Um, we broke up on Valentine's Day. He left me on Valentine's Day. Um, I had went to work and me and him got into an argument prior and he decided to leave and take the gifts that he got me and the gifts that, he, that I got him. And it just really sucks because that's like a that's a that's a trigger for me because I don't like feeling abandoned. Um, I don't like feeling like somebody's going to give me something and they're going to take it away or they hold what they have, what they give me or do for me over my head. So that just caused a spiral of events when he did that. Um, and instead of being adults and fixing our relationship, we decided not to. So, yeah. So, I decided to do um, a change in my look. I was going to get a wig put on my head. But um, the girl that was sitting in my hairstylist seat before me, she was getting a quick weave. And I'm like, dang, like those look so natural. I don't really like the way wigs look. So, maybe I can get a quick weave even though, even though my hair is short. She was like, yeah, Jenny, like your hair... In the front at the top is you know it's fairly long enough to do a quick weave so um she took me to the hood we went to this corner store like legit a corner store y'all like they were selling food and water like snacks and shit like a convenience store but in the back they had bundles so i was skeptical but i trusted my hairstylist she was like you know this hair is really really good just go ahead and get it so i got three bundles of um malaysian hair and they are 28 inches all three of them and i got um yeah, so I got three of them and it was $70 per bundle, which wasn't bad. But when I say the hair is really, really nice, I've had this in for a week and it doesn't really get tangled like that. I don't really experience shedding, but it is itching like the cap on my head is itching. So today is Friday. I took off from work. I'm feeling like crap. Um, in my feelings, it's really hard going through a breakup. Um, we, I was dating him for about six months we started talking at the end of july so um it, i'm just going through the detachment process you know just having clarity and stuff like that so i want to go out i'm going to show y'all how i style my hair it's march 1st um my rent is paid bills are paid i'm feeling good about that but now i gotta get my mental and my body and my spirit right so i'm gonna show y'all how i style my hair and we're gonna get updated on all of the things that i have planned what i'm doing for this month so yeah let's just dive on to it all right so my flat iron is already on um i start at the bottom and then make my way to the top of my head so we're just gonna do that <laughs>
on um, how social media nowadays has been impacting me, seeing that I have, you know, what I like to call it is a little bit of internet clout, little, you know, local celebrity, like it's really nothing because you are nothing but the people on the um, internet make you feel like you're something because they like really support you in what you do. So with that comes a lot of anxiety that I was not technically prepared for when I started um, becoming an influencer. Um, so I've noticed that I always feel the need to be perfect. I don't know why I always feel like things should not go wrong in my life because people think my life is a certain way. So it's like this plastic, like this fake idea that, you know, everything that she has going on is so great and she doesn't struggle and she doesn't, you know, that, that feeling of everything has to be perfect. I feel like that. I definitely feel like that. It's like whenever I'm in public and somebody sees me and I don't feel like, Oh, I look like that girl. I don't look like Jay Shawnette, you know. I'm just chilling today. What are they going to think about me? Are they going to think that I don't really look that way in person? Or are they going to think I'm a catfish? Or, you know, is my vibration not high enough because I'm, you know, shy in person and I don't really speak a lot? I don't talk to people. It's just that type of thing that I deal with. Um, and I just wish I didn't let social media get to my head in that, in that um, instance because now it's like I deal with social anxiety, um, I don't really like people, all that. This is one side by the way. I honestly swear on everything I did this in like four minutes, you know, this was nothing. I do sometimes like the like regular flat look but this is also really cute. So. I'm trying to not curse as much. I think it's ugly. I think it makes me come off as um, uneducated. And I'm just trying to shape that and really reinvent myself. It's 2024, so you know, the stuff that you wanted to change about your life and your situation, if you haven't already started, we are in March and it's not too late. You still have time. So. I feel like that's where I am now, where now I'm trying to just reinvent myself, train my brain to be a little bit sharper instead of training the outside to look a certain way, you know? Um, so that's what I've been dealing with. I try to be myself and realize that if people like who I am, then that's okay. And if they don't, then that's okay too because I don't need the validation. Those are the things that have been on my mind as far as what I wanna change, what I want to be more intentional about for this month. And I do say this month because I know it's like, to me, I have a hard time staying consistent with things. So right now I'm just taking things day by day, month by month. I'm not making long, goals for myself you know i have them in my head but i want them to be realistic so right now what i'm working on because i struggle with consistency is my short-term girl goals and once i knock those out and once i start feeling good about knocking those out my long-term goals will follow in my opinion so i finished doing my hair um just do a quick few curls and i want to spray it with some got to be real quick just to make sure that they don't fall We're gonna find something to do so jada is not sad so today we have um to do a luxury car shoot with one of my um homegirls she has she owns a fleet of cars on turo she owns boxing trucks she is the tax guru like this this lady is really the, the the term female boss. That's what she is. She's really a boss. So we're going to celebrate her because she just added a few, um, I think four new luxury cars to her fleet. So 
she's doing um like a celebration luxury car shoot so i'm gonna i'm gonna go there it's at four o'clock today she said it's gonna last about an hour and 30 minutes the theme is 32 shades of blue she's turning 32 um this month i think her birthday is on monday so we're wearing all blue so i don't have a lot of blue but i do have this blue set it's like a um honestly i got this from forever 21 like maybe three years ago but it's a fly set y'all i wish i could see all of it but i'm so short and i don't want to keep on standing back because maybe y'all can't hear me but it's it's some um i'll show y'all in the mirror once i get my outfit together because it's not all the way together but it's just a jacket and some jeans i haven't posted something on my instagram like a picture on my instagram um since november of last year i post reels i'm more of like a real girl but i want to post a picture just because i want my ex to see no, I'm a, <laughs> no, I do want to post a picture on my Instagram though because I haven't posted one in so long. So I'm a um, you know. But let me finish getting dressed. I'm gonna move over to the other room so y'all can see um the mirror and see what I'm doing. So I don't know what I'm putting on. I it's a blue party, so I have to wear blue. So I was in the content room making <laughs> Like a little TikTok type of thing of like what I'm going to wear, this outfit or that outfit. Yes, I'm trying to be a baddie for this um, shoot, but I don't want to do too much. So I threw on like a nice top that is really good quality, tight fitting. Um, and we're just going to see if this works instead. I'm going to bring out to my content room. But literally, I sit right here. I changed my clothes. The um, tripod is right there, so I'm filming on my phone. But this is what I have on. I was gonna throw these shoes on with it to kind of dress it down because I was trying to do heels and stuff. And it just wasn't really working out in my favor. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all the finished product of what, well, the finished outfit. And then we gotta get out of here. I'm, gonna hurry up and get dressed and then i'll be right back y'all all right y'all so this is the finished product i wore my thrifted bag um that i got at goodwill and then this is my final outfit y'all this is what we working with and i think it's real cute honestly it's not doing too much you know real simple i look cute money Mwah. no bars all right y'all change of plans she canceled her event um <laughs> she canceled her event but it was on a good note she said none of the luxury um cars were returned today um everybody extended their rentals which is cool like good for you i just struggled trying to find a blue outfit for nothing <laughs> i have a trip in about um two weeks to go to vegas which I have a very, very interesting vlog that I'm gonna drop for y'all um, when I go to Vegas. But I need to go shopping. So therefore, I'm gonna go get me some brunch, take myself out to eat, you know, something cute. Um, and then I'm just going to go shopping, I guess, after we get this um, AT&T thing straightened out, so. I decided to take myself to this place that I love going to called Grits and Eggs and I love getting their beignets. They are so good. Like literally I, I can eat like probably two orders of these things. But um, I sat here and I worked on my reels. I got a nice little coffee because you know that's real cute. But I normally always order the shrimp and catfish and grits. It is a 10 out of 10. I'm not even lying. Like you know i'm trying to be a content girly and stuff like that but i love this place because it's not expensive at all if you're looking for a new brunch spot be sure to try this place all right y'all so i didn't bring y'all in the store with me just because i don't like walking around um like luxury places with the camera out because it just gives i've never been there before you know what I mean? Okay, so um, I didn't I didn't take my 
camera inside. Um, I went to Phipps Plaza to go shopping. I wanted to find some um, skims because I recently got like the skims outfit that I really, really love how it fits me. But they didn't have my size. Um, so that was a bummer. And then um, when me and my ex split and he left me on Valentine's Day, he took away gifts that he gave me. Um, so for Valentine's Day, he gave me like a Tiffany ring. Um, he had recently, you know, the shades, the Balenciaga shades that he gave me whenever he like asked me to be his girlfriend. Um, those were sitting on my counter. He took those away as well whenever he left me. Um, along with this Tom Ford perfume that he gave me for Valentine's Day. So that kind of really hit me. And like, you know how the best way to get back at somebody is just to go and get it again so that's what i did i went and got it again i was looking for some shades but i just really couldn't find anything that like i wanted to spend my money on like nothing was like oh my god i love these you know um so i didn't get any shades but i did go to um nordstrom and i was able to get me my tom ford perfume again um but the cool thing is that I went there to go get the Tom Ford perfume. A specific one that I wanted was called the um, the Tobacco Vanille. That is my favorite scent. But I went and saw that they have a pack of four minis Tom Ford perfumes for a hundred dollars, y'all. That is like the best deal Tom Ford has ever done. Like I came to her, she was like, "Oh, you want the pack?" And I'm like no i don't want the pack i just want the tom ford perfume a travel size one is 80 dollars alone a two i think it's like a um two ounce one is like 225 dollars the big bottle is 450 so when she told me that they have a pack that just came out yesterday. I went ahead and, and snatched that because I was like, you know what? They are $70, $80 for travel size shit. The fact that I can get four of these for a hundred dollars, four of these for a hundred dollars, insane. So the ones that um that they come with is the oud wood. Um, the tobacco vanilla this one is my favorite and the rose prick and then the soleil blanc um, I will say the rose prick that one smells amazing tobacco vanilla of course that's my favorite and then um, the soleil blanc smells really really good um, when I do have time because I'm about to go and get my nose pierced right now or I'm going to attempt to go and get my nose pierced before I go to work tonight. Um, I'm going to sit down with y'all and we'll go over like the notes and what certain things smell like. So just to, so you guys can get an idea and see if that is something that you want to go ahead and get yourself. But for now, we're going to go to my new tattoo man because I just recently got a tattoo. Uh, Y'all, I've been doing a whole bunch of everything after this breakup. This is breakup symptoms. Post breakup symptoms is when you start doing everything. I got some, some weave in my hair. I went to go get some tattoos. I'm about to go get my nose pierced. I'm shopping. You know, these are all post breakup symptoms. So, but I'm okay with it. I don't care. We're about to go see my tat man. All right, y'all. So I just got here. Look at my baby. I really need to wash my car, bro, bro, bae, y'all. But I'm pulling up and we're going to the same guy that did my previous tattoos. Hey, oh. Is he in here? Them you eating good? Say hey to my vlog. What's happening? <laughs> um, so we're about to do a quick nose piercing. Um, that's me. Thank you. The side. Hmm, a little bit. I think I had one over there. Anyways, I don't know if you can see, if you could tell. That was right here. Oh, damn. Okay, well, can we do the side then? 
Do it's going to hurt because I got tissue, huh? Mm -hmm. Probably. All right, fuck it. I don't care. It Let's might, do it. I mean, it, might, it might just give you a little I ain't scared of no piercing. Whew. Y'all see my tear? <laughs> okay. That won't that bad though. She got that thick soldier blood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop playing with you. <sighs> I'm really good. Okay, that was quick. Real quick. We done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Y'all, well, he really looked out for me because he just pierced my nose for free, y'all. Like, didn't even charge me for this shit, which is crazy. I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting that. I didn't even show y'all my tattoos, but so on my arm it says. He is my heart. I am his voice. Um, for those of you that don't know, my son has autism and cerebral palsy, so he is um, nonverbal. So I got that tattoo on my arm just because um, I have his name on the opposite arm. So I felt like, you know, that was good placement. Um, and then I had got another one on the back of my arm that says intention. Um, which I don't even know. Bam! <laughs> so yeah, he put some stuff on there. Um, got my nose pierced. And now I think <sighs> this is my bestie. Say hey to the vlog. He working out. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I know that's right. Hi, Hi. I just got my nose pierced for free. Oh, you look so beautiful. Thank you. I feel so pretty. I'm about to go and get um some henna on you my hand. Don't even say because I'm not. Ta I cannot take off. I cannot take off. <laughs> uh -huh. And I got a tattoo. Oh, excuse me. I got a tattoo to get on Wednesday, so I I can't take off. But. I'm gonna come see you. I'm not gonna drink, of course. I'm not drinking no more. <laughs> I got so when, when drunk last your, night. When do you start your fitness journey? Um, Monday. Because you got a trainer. Did you tell them you have a trainer? I didn't tell them yet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Chris is telling y'all all the tea. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to update them, give them a life update of all my stuff. But yeah, I start training on Monday. We do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I'm excited! I'm excited, oh, y'all. Yeah. I'm sitting here editing my video, and it's crazy because as I'm watching it, it's like, damn, this was March 1st. It is, <laughs> it is May second right now so I recorded all this two months ago I was going through all of this two months ago and it took all of two months for me to post this and I was still going through so much like breakups are weird but I just I just took such a long hiatus from YouTube from even like Instagram I wasn't really posting as much like I normally do um just taking a break and now it's just like you know what i was holding off on posting this video because i didn't know if me and my ex were gonna work things out but that's not gonna happen so instead of just not posting anything i'm just going to just push out as much as i can and just try to update y'all um 
so this video is probably gonna be continued to be continued but I do appreciate y'all for watching my vlogs. Um, I know this one was just a lot of me talking, but the next ones are gonna be very fun. Um, you know, I did go to the Vegas thing, so I'm gonna update y'all. But I have to end this because I just need to go ahead and push this out so y'all can love me again. <laughs> I'm sorry I let a boy take me on my rhythm, y'all. It'll never happen again. Says the girl that makes a breakup vlog every freaking year. Oh my gosh! <laughs>